Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'll be talking about first service, how much did it cost and what the hell did they do? Yo guys, welcome back. First things first, uh, people are really annoying me over here at these uh, garages. It's like everybody wants to talk to me today, so I'm gearing up and I'm taking the beast somewhere else. Gear change. It doesn't happen a lot, but if the weather is good, I'm down by the river. Down by the river. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys like the view, so you don't have to look at my stupid face all the time. So I've been reading on the internet, first service is just the oil filter and the oil change, and you can even do it by yourself. But you know what? You gotta support your local motorcycle dealer so they don't run out of business. You know, it's hard enough selling new bikes. They have to pay their bills by doing some maintenance and service on your bike. So. You gotta support us though guys, you gotta support them, you know, it's just business, it's just business. Anyway, first thing they did, they checked the computer for faults, for errors, number one. Second thing they did, checking if the electrical installation is still working. I have no idea what the electrical installation means. Third thing, new motor oil, new oil filter. Next up, checking the brake pads, in the front, on the other side, and on the back. Disc brakes, checking for cracks and other faulty things front and back. Checking the brake lines for errors. All the brake lines, front and yet again the back. Checking the level of your brake fluid. They will be checking your front suspension for any leaks, damage, cracks, whatever, something that smells fishy. Checking the tires for weird, weird thingies. Look, there's a rock in here. <laughs> they also check the rear tire. That's a pretty easy check. Huh? They will check if your chain still has enough tension. Ah, crap. Checking if that nut still has the right tension. Is that a sticker over there? God dang it. So as I'm running around my bike, people looking pretty weird at me because I'm holding a paper and I'm in some kind of grass with my bike. Uh, I was looking at it and I found something pretty strange. Like, look at this. So I was looking, looking, and then I was nice bike. And then I was like, what the hell is that? Why is that white? What? That's not supposed to be there, I think. It's not on the other side, it's only this side. It's like, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? That's coming off as soon as I get home. Anyway, back to the video. Damn, look how nice it is over here, look at that. <laughs> Pretty relaxing, right? What else do they do? Checking your coolant level. Checking all the lights and if the buttons still work. Indicators, brake lights, fog lights, big lights, small lights. Red lights, white lights, blue lights, yellow lights, brown lights, all the lights. Checking if that little fan still works. It's hot, it's hot. They will be checking all the moving parts. Going from rear brake, front brake, clutch, shifter lever, to even down here, your stand. After that, they will check if every screw on the outside and every safety screw is still nice and snug. So I, I'm guessing the ones like that and like that and just easy bolts, you know. And last but not least, they will empty all the drainage hoses, like these ones. What the hell is that? Why? And the total price of this service was 167 euros. That's about the same as dollars. So for my American buddies, sup y'all, that's about 167 dollars. And again, there's a lot of things you can do yourself. You can most likely do everything yourself. But like I said, support your local motorcycle dealer and make sure they don't run out of business. You want to keep them as your friend. You know, they have got a lot of motorcycles. So I had two small issues on mine. 
just minor thingies, nothing that big. First issue was that it lost a little bit of coolant, like 10 cc, so almost nothing. So they tightened up all the hoses, so that's probably fixed by now. And they also checked this exhaust valve. That needs to be at a perfect angle at 3000 RPM, so you will get your maximum torque out of that engine. And this thing was 2% off, so it got a little bit in the red, but they fixed it. Now you know what a first service is like, what it costs, and as we always say in Belgium, KTM, kapot terugmaken. That means you break it, you fix it again. Anyway, have a nice day, have a nice weekend, ride safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!